Make It Dairy Free. I'm Larisha. I am Andrew, and today we are taste testing 12 of the top dog burgers out there for everyone that is vegan or not vegan, and you just want a burger <laughs> and not eat animals. So, is, is that, did I get that? Did I get all that? Yeah, so, as if you, if this is- <laughs> If this is your first time watching, um, Andrew's not allowed to go to the store. I go to the store and somehow I end up coming home with way too much stuff. I'm not even sure how Andrew applied there at I'm the just time. letting them know that this is my fault that we have so many. I was putting the blame on me oh. while also telling them that you're not allowed to grocery shop. Well, I think honestly this is a good thing um, for you guys, obviously. For our stomachs, not so much. Um, <laughs> but I think this is a good thing for them because I think a lot of these burgers aren't available everywhere. Um, not all of the burgers are available everywhere, so at least they can get an idea of a burger that's close to them and what it tastes like if they don't have an idea already. Yes, we are actually splitting this video up into two different sections. We're gonna do all of these today and then we have a part two coming next week yep. where we will talk, track, talk? Talk, where, track. Woo! What is going on right now? I don't know. Where we will try store brand uh -huh. vegan burgers. So Target and Acme and Trader Joe's and places like that. 365 They're, brand, yes. Wegmans, all that stuff. All of that. So today we were trying these. We polled our Instagram audience and asked what your favorite vegan burgers were. Yep. So of course uh, we got the Impossible and we have the Beyond. This is the new and improved Beyond. So we've never tried it. You didn't even know there was a new improved one. Did no, you? I had no idea. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? The new and improved. We have Gardein Ultimate, which is currently our favorite. It is our favorite, yes. Um, and we have a lot that we have just never tried anything from the brand, nope. anything close to it. There, We have tried Light Life before. Um, that might be the only other one we've tried. Uh, so I, I remember trying, um, some of these, but not not in anywhere, all of them. Like, I, I don't remember trying this at all. This I remember trying. Impossible Burger, I tried at like a restaurant before, but outside so, of that. So I don't think I've ever had an Impossible Burger. Okay, well. Um, Light Life we've had because they sent us burgers before, so we made them and we yep. did like them. Oh yeah, 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 you're right. This brand I've never heard of before, Fries. Yeah, so we got some interesting ones here. Yeah, so it's gonna be a fun video and let's get into it. Please. Let's do it. All right, we have cooked all 12 burgers. Um, I was gonna tilt the tray up, but I feel like. It's gonna mess it up. Yeah, so yeah, I'm just gonna, gonna let it go. Um, so we are going to try Beyond and Impossible first because those are the two that are most recommended by everybody. Um, we're starting with Beyond. Um, so Beyond has coconut inside of it. And besides that, there are no other top eight allergens, but it is made with pea protein. Are we each having a half or are we having uh, like a half of a half. I don't. Yeah. I don't. We'll take one bite and then see. All right. Well. And get some ketchup. So we are keeping this with all. They all have the same bun. Um, we're only putting ketchup on it, so we can basically only taste. It's a lot of burger. I'm just gonna sit this right here because a. We got a ton of these things. <laughs> you just go from there. Okay. All right. So I'm curious to know like how this meteor. Now I keep thinking about you in space. Um, how this meteor <laughs> version tastes compared to the other one. Let's see what happens. Ready? Yeah. It tastes like a burger. I think Beyond always does pretty well in terms of texture for like mimicking a, an actual burger. It does seem a little crumbly. I don't know if you get that, but like almost like, like it was made with like ground meat and then like, it just has like a little bit of that coming apart. Does that make sense? Yeah, I get that for sure. But um, I actually like that about it. It doesn't taste crumbly like it was, um, like it's falling apart. Yeah. So it has a chewiness, it has the, the texture beyond typically TMI maybe while we're eating, but Beyond typically um, upsets my stomach, so that's why we don't have it very often. Obviously, I'm not gonna know which one of these upsets my stomach because oh. there's so many of them. Um, 
but I would be interested to try this, the new version on its own to see if I still have that like same reaction. Honestly, I don't I don't remember this being any different from the other version, to be honest with you. Um, but as I said before, I think Beyond always done a great job with coming close to a pretty good plant-based burger. Yeah. So overall, I, I think we like that one, right? Like it's not Yeah, if you buy a Beyond burger, you're you're not going to necessarily regret it until you have some heartburn or something like that. Yeah. Possibly. <laughs> But um, no, I think, and I guess the one thing downside for me is I think Beyond has a lot of ingredients. I'm oh, not, yeah, a, I'm a, not a fan of like a ton of ingredients in anything. Yeah. Um, I get why it's being done, but you know, I wish, I wish they can come to this same thing with a little less. Yeah. All right. So this is Impossible. Um, Impossible does contain soy and coconut inside of it. Um, I should probably be showing you guys like the, the other side but it won't even go over um this one was very pink like you guys can see like it is very pink yeah. before being cooked and then um after. after like it has like the perfect pink inside and then it has like a nice brown outside so it it's weird almost like even we, we've been surreal. vegan yeah we've been vegan for a while now and it's still like uh this is I, and I think this is what makes it like scary like when you go out to a restaurant like you're being served like impossible or beyond usually at a restaurant and you're like is this like real yeah food? no I I, the first time I've tasted an impossible burger I, I literally almost fought the waitress like I was like you're like ain't no way like, yeah nah get take this back you just you just poisoned me mmm I like the taste of this one better. <laughs> it tastes more like a burger, like a, a hamburger that I remember. It's good, ain't it? Like it has that like grilled taste, like infused in it almost. Yeah. Even though we pan fried all of these. Mm -hmm. um, but you get that like grilled taste from it. Hmm. A little bit of char on the outside. I think I like this one better. What do you think? Oh yeah, no, 100%. I haven't tasted this in a while, but. I will say that I think Beyond. I just jumped ship. I think Beyond has the um, the meatier texture down a little bit better than this one. But this flavor reminds me straight, like when you went over to like your parents' house and they were grilling, like this is the burger that you got. I, I gotta disagree. I'm on the impossible side, like the I think Beyond's good, don't get me wrong. I, I think they do a good job, but this Impossible Burger, hmm. it does a really nice job of mimicking the meat and everything. Flavor, still has the pinkness. It's odd to see it even before being cooked. It's like strange. Yeah, I mean, it looks straight like meat. I didn't think I didn't think that I was gonna go in here and like this one better, but. Yeah. So right now, what's your now number I'm, one? Impossible for sure right now. Okay. Let's you see what happens. Same? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. 100%. All right. All right. So we tried your all's top favorites with the Beyond Impossible, and now we are going to try our top favorite one next to the other one that the brand makes. Which so might have just changed, but we're not sure. <laughs> no. Um, this is, you need both of these. No, no, no. Not at the same time. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Won't test them at the same time, Sorry. right? Um, all right, so this these are both by Gardein. Um, this is the one that we think we like. I didn't even know they made one inside of a bag until I was shopping for all of these. Yeah, I feel like we did, but maybe we didn't. I don't know. So it's weird. So they're both called Ultimate Beefless Burger. This one, well, this one says Ultimate Beefless Burger. This one says Ultimate Plant-Based Burger. Okay. So this is part of their new Ultimate line. So they have new chicken patties and nuggets and stuff like that. Um, and then this is just traditional, what all the other things look just like. them trying to beat themselves. Right. <laughs> They're like, we're in competition with ourselves. We got a red team and we got a blue team. Who's going to be the best? Yeah. So this is the bag one that we're going to try, right? Um, yeah, we're going to try the bag one, but I also wanted to state that just a heads up for you guys. We literally just fried these in the pan and then, um, put them on buns. Like, so there's no seasoning or anything like that on these right. burgers. These are so thin. 
Um, but we commented when the, these ones were cooking that they remind us, we both worked at McDonald's when we were yes. teenagers. Yeah, we did. These remind us exactly like McDonald's burgers yep. when they were cooking. They were super thin. There was grease all over them. Every, every part of it. Yeah, so it's, it'll be interesting. Ready? Yep. Tastes like Worcestershire sauce. Yeah, I feel like I'm eating a steak. Yeah. Which isn't bad for a steak. Right, so you get, I think, four. There's four per pack. It's three fifty dollars um, for the whole package. I don't think, like, you're not going to be mad that you bought these, but no. they're definitely not better than the Beyond and the Impossible. Yeah, I feel like you buy these um, for the grill, backyard grill type burger if you're going somewhere. Like, you know what? Let me just grab these because if I need somebody else to cook it, they can't go wrong with these ones. Right. Um, as far as allergens in this one, it does have soy and wheat. Um, so that is in the bag. As far as the boxed version, there is no soy. It is made with pea protein. So they are different burgers because um, this one doesn't have pea protein. Um, so this one is made with uh, it has wheat and it has coconut inside of it. So I mean, this burger looks entirely different. How much thicker it is. Yeah, so side by side. So this is the bag one and then this is the boxed one. Boxed. I was like, what is the word I'm looking for? So you can definitely tell that um, which one is thicker. Ready? So this is the one that's supposed to be our fave. And, and now uh, I'm nervous. We're about to find out. This one, you know, what made it one of our faves is that when you cook it, um, there isn't a ton of like grease hanging around it. Um, I was about to just have this You're by just myself. gonna crush it by yourself. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we, we honestly thought that was possibly like one of the reasons that the Beyond one would, uh, you know, impact the way we feel. Yeah. All right, so it is super thick, meat-like, It's like, who says something first? Do you say something or do I say something? Mm -hmm. I think I like the impossible better. But I don't know that I like Beyond better than this. Which one costs more? I did impossible on this one. Um, the impossible. This is all my receipts, guys. You see how many stores huh. I went to? <laughs> Um, Impossible is $4.99 for two. Mm -hmm. um, and the Gardein is $3.49 for two. So uh, it's a it's a dollar fifty. All right. Sounds like uh, Gardein tastes much better than me. You cannot base it <laughs> off of the <that> price. <laughs> <laughs> um no, in, in reality, I still like this one a lot, but the Impossible Burger um does a really, really good job comparing. Yeah, um, this one is still very meat-like, um, like the texture, the chewiness that you get yeah. from it, um, that I, I do feel that Impossible is lacking slightly. Um, but I still like this one better than Beyond. Yes, no, I, I, I agree with you there. I think, again, I, I think that's what we were, I was lead, leading, I was hinting to earlier when I said that this one being a little less greasy and stuff, you know? Yeah, I think the downside to this one is that it is it does contain wheat. Um, I know I know a lot of people like the Beyond because it is it's gluten free. Mm -hmm. And but so is Impossible. I don't know why I thought Impossible had wheat. wheat. Yeah. So I think that's why a lot of people go with these is because that because they don't have gluten. But yeah. so this one does. So it, that is a downside to it. All right, so right now, I guess in the order of what we think is good, I guess we should um, Impossible, uh, Gardein's Ultimate Box version, um, Beyond, and then Gardein's Bag version, right? Yep, All right. I agree. Cool. All right, so the next two that we are going to be trying are Meatless Farms and Fries. Um, we, Meatless Farm is who partnered with Nathan's to make those hot dogs. Yeah. Um, so we've had something from them. Um, and fries, I've never even heard of. <laughs> so um, it says they've been around since 1991. So oh, I don't, wow. they've been around for a while. Making vegan stuff. I don't, it says made 
made with love and plants since 1991. So I'm assuming they've always been a plant brand. There you go. But they're just becoming more mainstream. Found these at Sprouts. Okay. Um, so the Meatless Farms one contains shea nut and coconut. Which one are you? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> um, it also has made with pea protein. What What is that? It's just this thing, man. So when I went to go cook it, it smelled like, and this is not me trying to be offensive or anything, but it smells like dog food, like just straight up, like. I and smelled it as What I mean by I'm not trying bag. to be offensive is that if your dog is watching this, I don't, like I don't take offense. <laughs> Come on, dog. You know I'm not. I'm not saying your food bad or nothing. I'm just saying this smells like the food. That food. Well, that was the that was the issue with Beyond when they first came out. Is everybody was like, "I'm not eating this. It smells like dog food or cat food." They ain't smell this then. Well, no. What I'm so what I'm saying is Beyond has somehow figured out to not smell like that anymore. It it has a hint. Yeah. I don't know. I don't I don't smell that. It has a hint. Yeah, I, I, I guess I do a little but bit. But this no, smells this like you like... opened the bag of canned dog food yeah. or cat food. Like that's just what it smells like. For real. Um. All right. Just. Get that going. Let's see what happens here. It's almost like you make yourself sick thinking about it. I don't even want to bite this one. <laughs> uh, Woo! The things we do for you guys. Are you ready? Go. It's tough. No, it tastes like dog food too. Are you sure this one isn't? It isn't dog food. Oh my gosh. It's a very weird taste. That's all I can what say. What do you mean weird? Look, I haven't tasted dog food, but I know the smell of it. And I smell that in my mouth right now. I smell that in my mouth. Yep, I smell it right in my mouth. <sighs> Come on, next burger, all this right. is crazy. So this is fries. Um, mm, can I have some water? <laughs> I'm just trying to get to this next burger already. I'm praying this tastes better. Fries has soy and wheat inside of it. Um, one thing that I do, it also has corn. Um, one thing that I do notice is that there, the fries ingredient list is much more recognizable. Um, you see things like onions and sugar and yellow mustard and cloves and so like it's a lot more It's a feel good. Yeah, th it does still have list. methacellulose in it, which is um, I know a big complaint from a lot of the burgers, but I keep smelling the bun because it, it, it comes off on the bun <laughs> The dog food taste. Yeah, well the smell the yeah. smell comes off of the bun <laughs> But that other one got me a bit paranoid I guess You're like I still smell dogs all right, here we go. All right. It's my dog mad at me right now. Ready? Yeah. This one smells more seasoned, like veggie burger style. That's me. You ready? I thought you was eating. Sorry, I smelled it. You ready? Go. You got to smell it, though. It's more herbal like a mug. It tastes parsley. I just took a, a bite of oregano. Yeah. Um, this to me reminds me of like oregano a- Oregano burger. It's like an upgraded veggie burger. I, was, I guess, yeah. I mean, kind of the downgrade for me because I wasn't prepared for that. No, but if you're comparing it to a veggie burger, you're like, okay, like this tastes decent. But when you're comparing it to like a burger taste, like you don't get that from this. I don't want my veggie burger tasting like just oregano though. Yeah. That's and what I'm says, saying. It says the big fry burger, juicy, delicious, perfect for the barbecue. Like, yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't get that from no. this. It's good, okay, so let's, don't get us wrong. Get us wrong. No. <laughs> the taste of this isn't bad. Like I would eat this burger, but when we're comparing it to a, a meat alternative, that's not it. Does that make sense? Does it make sense or do I agree? Do you agree? Um, because would I eat the burger? I would finish these burgers. Would I buy this burger? No, I wouldn't buy this burger at all. 
Not even a little bit. Okay. Like, I like some veggie burgers out there, and this one... Isn't it? Doesn't, like, yeah, I don't think this is an upgrade to that. Cilantro, that's what's in this. Cilantro? That's what I taste. I don't know what cilantro you taste. That's oregano, okay? What does it say? That says you read the ingredient list and no, then you I didn't. just try and remember it. Come on, let's move on to the next one. <laughs> so the next two that we are going to try are Field Roast and our Morningstar Incognito. So Morningstar just came out Incog with- Incognito. Oh, I said Nito, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, Mito. Incognito. Yeah. Um, so these are newish. Um, one of the newer ones, but I think so are the field roast ones. Um, so field roast oh, can I'm supposed to do this one at a time. I'm getting too hyped like you was the other time. Um, field roast has wheat inside of it. I don't see anything else. Morning Star contains, where are the ingredients? Oh, we're here. <laughs> um, Morning Star contains soy. So they are gluten free and I don't see anything else. So, it is funny to me. So Morningstar also, Beyond and a couple other ones have like these white chunks, which from my understanding are like different oils and stuff like that. And then it's supposed to make like that greasiness that comes out. Oh, like when you cook, cook yeah. burgers. But it, it is weird to see it. Traditional burgers, I guess. Yeah. Um, the field roast ones came in this uh, sealed package and there's yeah. four of them and they're kind of thin um, and it smelled Smelled like they were so I don't necessarily think they're thin. They're um, they're like vacuum sealed. So I think like part of the burger is like slightly uneven by thinning out on one side and it's a little fat on the other side. Yeah. On some of them, but it they smell great even before cooking them. Yeah. So. Alright, this is which one? Field roast. This is field roast. Okay. Yeah. Ready? Mm-hmm. It's too chewy. And it's too seasoned. It almost tastes like pizza burger. <laughs> it does. It no? tastes like a It tastes like a breakfast sausage without the uh, complete breakfast sage. ingredients. Without the sage. This has mushrooms in it. I can't taste it. Yeah. All right, so where would you put this one? Did you know that before I started eating it? Yes, I did. <laughs> I love you. Where would you put this one? This burger don't taste bad. It just don't taste like a burger. But would you put it behind this one? I would say they tie it. I think you have to because the Guardian one still tastes like a burger and we're trying to find the ultimate burger. Yeah, okay. So in that sense, like it needs to be. I get it, I get it. <sighs> Come like on, Field, Field Roast. They're our favorite hot dogs. We wanted you to be our favorite burger. In I think they were our first favorite cheese, right? Didn't we chow the chow, the chow cheese chow, before? Chow to chow? Chow to chow. Try the chow. Yeah, we did, we, well we still like chow. Yeah, I'm, I'm just saying, like in general, like yeah, we had a couple things that we we were feeling. We've tried their uh, mini corn dogs. Those are good. Yes, they are. All right, here we go. We didn't like their shredded cheese though, which was surprising. I don't know if we didn't like it or it wasn't like melting or something like that. I think it still tasted good, didn't it? No, I don't think we liked the taste of it. All right, well maybe we did. You would know. I don't, I don't remember. The texture of this one is a little weird. Looking. This this thing looked like it was straight up like cut out by like a, a robot. Like it's like perfectly <laughs> circle. Like it is weird. All right, ready? Yeah. All right. So we need a 2.0 version of this. What's that mean? I feel like they tried <laughs> and they tried. <laughs> I feel like they tried. What does that mean? And they got certain aspects of it right. 
It has some of the chewiness. It has some of the taste of a burger, but it's just not quite there yet. All like, right, so what's what's not there for you that you are finding in every other sandwich? So it's a little too chewy, um, like rubbery chewy. Okay. Um, not so much just like the chewiness that you want from a burger chewy that some of the other ones have worked on. Mm -hmm. Um, and the taste isn't quite there meat wise for me. Like, I feel like they did a great job, but I feel like they were like, okay, incognito brand is ready to go. Don't have any more chance to, you know, try to perfect this. Like you just got to go with what you got. And, you know, maybe Beyond did that first. Beyond's had like four versions at this point, right? Huh. So it's like, uh, we need a second version Morningstar. But I don't know, what is your thought on it? Again, this reminds me of, uh, it's very similar to the Gardein's the bag. bag one mm -hmm. to me. Just um, just like a thicker version of the, that bag one. Yeah. Like, so I don't, I don't really have much to say. I think I just literally tasted that same burger, but thicker, if yeah. that makes sense. So. So would you put this one? I don't know if Morningstar cheated off a of Gardein's test or Gardein cheated off a of Morningstar's test, but one of y'all was cheating while y'all was in front of the class, in front of the teacher. And uh, I think that's where we're at right now. Where would you put this one? Probably right next to that one. Like tied or, but I think I would still put it above it. I would only put it above it because you're getting a thicker patty, but if you tell me the thicker patty cost a lot more than that one, then I would probably put it beneath it, to be honest uh, with you. Incognito is $4.49 and the Gardein is $3.50, so it's a dollar more. But I don't... How like, many How many's in the package? That, I just want to say that. the It's $4.49 for only two. This is $3.50 for four. Yeah, I, honestly, I would put it behind the Gardein one then, myself. Yeah. But... Be straight off of just burger for burger, no price intended, like included. I think this one would beat it out just because you're getting more, yeah, more burger. You know what I mean? All right, we have four more, and I am tired. Me too, actually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like I'm exhausted looking at all of these. Yeah, it's so funny because like usually, sorry, you keep trying to turn. Nah, off. I was I was about to like <laughs> cut. You like, 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 ah, <laughs> got me in the street, DJ Khaled. Um, I was just gonna say, it's funny because we taste, we do a ton of taste tests, but I don't think I've ever felt so heavy and we've only tried eight things. I feel like, I, did you sneeze? No, I said oh. eight things. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I was, I was like, Cause it's like, uh, um, no, nah, I think, I, I think I feel this way whenever we're going through like the store ones and there seems like there's no hope for anything that's gonna be good. I feel like, man, this, I'm so tired right now. But I think even the store ones, like we have breaks. Like this, we're trying 12 burgers. And this I know, that's what I'm minutes. saying. But this, it's the same thing for me right now. Like that's the way I feel right now. Yeah. All right, two more coming up. So our next two are uh, Worthington's X Burger and Dr. Prager's Perfect Burger. Do you say Prager's? Uh, yeah, I would say that. Because every time I say it, I think of like me being pregnant and people being like, oh, you're preggers. Like, oh. I, so I was like, I don't, is that how you actually say it or, I don't know. Okay, anyway, moving on. Um, The, which one are you doing first, Worthington? Okay, Worthington. so. Worthington's X Burger contains soy and wheat. I don't want to cut you off, but I, I want to just to show you that. that oh, that's weird. Really weird. So there's like this white, again, we were it. talking about like the, well, we have to cut it. Or I'm cutting this oh. one. Oh, um, we, we um, talked about like the white bits that like some of them have. And this one has like, it's just like a white chunk right here. Most of the other ones have like melted down. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's weird. Oh wait, I was supposed to pick this back. <laughs> it's all good. Woo. Um, so we haven't tried anything from them because everything that I found, like their deli meats and stuff contain, um, eggs or milk, something that makes it not vegan. Um, but this says vegan on the package here. So that's nice. Yeah, I was, um, I don't know. It, it, it looks like it's gonna be good from the yeah. package, but uh, just be good marketing. Yeah. I think you liked the name, you were like X Burger. Right? Yeah, it was like, oh, I'm gonna start being able to do backflips or something. Let's hope it's not like eh. Like that type of X. Yeah. Like America's Got Talent. Like, eh. uh, all right, ready? ready? 
It's very pink. Jinx. What does that taste? I think I found my first fish patty. That is what it tastes like. Hmm. Like this ain't bad, but it's very unexpected and extremely fish patty like. What is that? Yeah, I'm, it? I'm gonna go ahead and say like, um, if, you, if you're looking for like a filet of fish or something like that, this uh, this one's right up your alley. It's supposed to be a burger video. Yeah, I said no. Is it bad that I would still put it above the meatless fours <laughs> and the fries? No, no, it ain't bad. Because it still tastes better. At least it tastes like human food. Yeah, that's weird. But, um, uh, yeah, I ain't finishing that one. Okay. What we got next? Dr. Prager's. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong because now I'm like second guessing myself. Um, this one is top eight free, um, which is nice. It's the only one I believe that is top eight free. Okay. Um, it is still made with pea protein. So sorry um, if you cannot have that. But yeah, otherwise it's a, uh... oh, that's a weird taste in my mouth. <laughs> you don't like fish on your burger? Not when I'm planning to have a burger. Like, I, I like, you know, like Guardian has like the fish fillets and stuff. Like, I like that, but like. Yeah. Not when I'm expecting to taste like steak sauce or something. Can you put this one over there for me, please? Yeah. Cut this two on and then we're ready. So I hope that this tastes better than their nuggets or tenders, I think they called them. Yeah, they, Dr. Prager's doesn't have a really good uh, reputation with us right now. This is only the second thing we've tried though. <laughs> It's, it's enough. enough. Jinx. Jinx. Again. Ready? Yeah. You owe me money. I don't owe you nothing. I taste a grilled burger. This is very unexpected. I taste specifically grilled burger. Mm hmm. A, it's a charcoal little, grill burger. So it's a little dry to me. Um, but very surprising how good this one is. I gotta disagree on the dryness myself. Okay. But um, this is a good burger. So two things. One, it is not this color on the box. It is much more. It looked like chicken, like a, a chicken, chicken patty. patty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and this one took the longest to cook. Most of them were under 10 minutes. This took double the time. It was 21 minutes. Yeah. Um, so that was kind of a, a turnoff, I guess you would say, uh, a con. Um, but yeah, I'm surprised. I think I would put this. Would you put this behind this one? Or in front of it. In front. Yeah. So that would put them in fourth. Huh. That's a good burger. I'm very surprised. All right. Thank the Lord, we have two left. So Light Life and Alpha. Huh. I think those are some some two big brands, though. They are two big brands. So this could get completely shooken up here in just a second. All right. Let's All see right, what happens. Let's do it. All right. Last two. Thank the dear Lord. Um, so we have Light Life and Alpha. Which one are you gonna do first? I'm gonna do Alpha. Look how big this burger is. Yeah, so this is the biggest one compared to the bun. Um, it's like, like it heaps over. Uh, yeah, there, let me, do it let, like me, that. let me line it up really quick, hold on. All right, here's it lined up on the bun. If you can see that. <laughs> yeah. So um, this was also the darkest one. Like it came out straight like well done burger straight. This is what the package looks like. This, this burger looked like it was pre-cooked. <laughs> yeah. Um, like it already has grill lines on it and everything. Yeah, oh wait. It's got me all hot and bothered. Oh gosh. Um, so this one has soy and wheat inside of it. I don't see any other top. 
nine allergens. I keep saying eight. I'm not used to it being nine now. I'm sure a lot of us do at the moment. Yeah. We'll get, we'll get there. We'll get there. I am so, so over this. <laughs> I'm excited. This is our uh, last two. We got two heavy hitters right here. This is exciting right now. I just want kale and orange. <laughs> All right, there you go. Thank you. Ah. You good? Yeah, I just got ketchup on my hand. Okay. All right. Ready? Yep. Mm -mm. Oh, it gets worse. This is, oh! dis this is disappointing. It tastes like straight steak sauce when you put it in your mouth. And then It's a it really tastes, well done. It tastes like burnt steak sauce as you keep chewing. Was it was we just supposed to microwave this only? No, it says stove top. And wait, heat it for like a 30 second type thing? Six like six to eight minutes. Yeah, nah, this is this is like hard. Yeah, the texture's not completely there. It's a little tougher. Um, but yeah, it tastes like steak sauce, and then as you keep chewing, it tastes like burnt steak sauce. <laughs> burnt steak sauce? Yeah, like well done, overdone steak no, sauce. This is certainly a uh, a disappointment here. I had some high hopes for Alpha here. Come on, Alpha. Okay, where would this go? In comparison? Field, behind Field Roast, in front of Worthington, behind, Wor like where? Um, I think it's in front of Field Roast myself. Like, I don't think it's like a terrible burger. It's just, it's just not there with the texture and it tastes more like steak. I, know, I didn't mind this one though. Yeah, it was, that was the one that tastes like sausage, I think. Yeah, you're right. Ugh. <laughs> All right, light life. Last? Hopefully not least. I mean, we've tried it before, so it's I was gonna say, I feel, I, I feel like it can't be, because if I remember, I didn't remember this until you reminded me, but this uh, this was actually a, a pretty decent burger, if I remember. Yeah, so Light Life contains coconut oil as far as top nine allergens, and it also is made with pea protein as the base. So it is gluten-free, which is great for our friends. All right, where are we at with this? All right, you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. This is a nice ending. It's like soft, but like chewy. This is a good burger. Tastes like hamburger. This is right up there with the others. I know. Wow, are you tasting that against the impossible one? No, nah, it's still up there. I don't, this might need to come in. I think this guy ties with uh, our number two. If not, beat it. I think it beats it. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Come through, light, light. Uh oh. Uh oh. Mighty life. So our number one going into this is actually third. Wow. How do you feel about that? I mean, we just had twelve burgers. I don't. I don't feel that bad actually. <laughs> I do. Why? <laughs> My stomach feels bad. Oh. Uh, <laughs> like what did nah, you I do completely, to me? I completely agree there. Mmm. We're gonna go have Want smoothies and a kale salad after this. What are we concluding here? So there's some the really best great burgers out there and, and there's some worst. really bad burgers out there. All right, let's rate them. Get them back up here in order. You can just, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> just, just leave these other guys just, back here. Just leave them. Like they don't, they don't belong. All right, I'm gonna move this. Don't get no extra shine. Y'all, I don't think I've ever felt like this after one of our taste test videos. 
can you turn these yeah, yeah, yeah. in a different direction? Thanks. All right, so number one, we are going with Impossible, which I did not think we would be going with that going into this. Yeah, nah, me too. And I mean, that's, that's like a, a solid 9.5 for me in terms of like yeah. right there with, uh, you know, in comparison yeah. to a real burger. Light Life. And, Number two. And this is like a 9.2 for me because I still think it's really close. I think Impossible is just beating it out a teeny bit. It's the seasoning on like the grill flavors that Impossible has gotten into. Yeah. Like, that light. The texture has too. Been. Impossible has a texture that I don't think anybody's able to mimic right now. Yeah. Um, Guardian Ultimate for number three. Yep. Beyond. Beyond. We're putting at four. Yep. And then the shocker of, I think, the whole video <laughs> is the Dr. Prager's rounding out the top five. That's crazy. Um, I did think that we were gonna like, we love a lot of Morningstar products. The, yeah. They're vegan products. Yep. Um, so I, I was surprised that this one wasn't higher up. Um, I think that they have a lot of potential. I know that this is a new line for them. So I think that they can work on it and put out another version like, you know, Beyond has. Um, and potentially do better. Um, you can't go wrong with this. It's just not in comparison to these, you know. If yeah. You, if you live in like Podunk, West Virginia, which I can say because I am from West Virginia, um, and this is the only <laughs> thing that you can have because you have like 2.4 vegan products in your grocery store, then you probably think this thing the bomb. Yes. Right. Yes. Because I mean, <laughs> I think we did. Uh, wait, did we taste this one? I don't think we've ever had it. I, honestly, I was just gonna say in general though, a lot of the things we taste first, we thought was pretty good until we taste something else. Yeah. You know? Um, Alpha Burger is next, which we were kind of disappointed in. I thought that these would be much better. Um, and the same, th I think the same thing with Field Roast. The fact that we like so many Field Roast products and it's all the way down here is disappointing. Yeah. Um, these, if you see them on your shelf, just bypass purchasing them. Uh, yeah. I mean, this one is like number one for fish. So if you, uh, <laughs> if for some reason you were thinking that you wanted, you know, fish instead of a burger, then I think you're you're good. Yeah, I do think I do think the fries one would make a good veggie burger. I just don't think it's compared to the meatier burgers here. I know you didn't care for it. No, not at all. Um, Meatless Farm just needs to go back to the farm and start over again. Um, I was gonna say drawing board, but yeah, I guess. Either or. Yeah. All right. What do you think? Good? I, th I think we got our best or worst. Okay, so luckily when we come back with the store video next week, there are not this many, so hopefully we don't feel as bad. We will Oof. be eating smoothies and kale salads from now until next week when we have to try that again. I'm not eating anything. I'm just gonna wait. <laughs> all, I'm just gonna wait to the end of the week. Oh I'm my gonna gosh. fast the entire time. Right? Okay, if you guys agree, there is gonna be some hate comments on this video. Why? How, you don't think Beyond is better than Impossible? But like, I can just hear it now. Just be nice. Yeah. Right? So we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let us know in the comments if you agree with our opinions or not. Be nice to us, it is just our opinions. Um, and so leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up, share it with all of your vegan curious friends or your vegan friends or your carnivore, omnivore friends that oh say God. they'll never. Girl, <laughs> you don't go ahead. Do you have anything else? Nope, believe in good. Have a great week guys, bye. Peace.